Y'all, Cassie just responded to Diddy's apology video. And just like the many people who responded to it, including people who worked for Diddy, like Roger Bonds, Cassie is not digging the fake apology. He's up to the same games. You know, my reaction was he never mentioned Cassie's name in that apology. You know, so to me, he didn't humble himself enough. Um, I think he said what people wanted to hear not what he felt. Unsurprisingly, Cassie is not here for any of it, especially after Diddy tried to make everyone believe that she's a liar who was just hoping for a hefty payday with her lawsuit. Allegedly, she's even threatened to release more receipts on Diddy if he doesn't stop playing with her. Now, in case you forgot, when Cassie filed her lawsuit against Diddy a few months ago, she said in her lawsuit that around March 2016, Diddy became extremely intoxicated, and after pouncing on her, he gave her a black eye. She also said that after Diddy fell asleep, she attempted to leave the hotel room, but he woke up and followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. What Cassie also mentioned in her lawsuit is that Diddy grabbed at her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her, causing glass to crash around them as she ran to the elevator to escape. The lawsuit also said that Diddy paid the Intercontinental Century City $50,000 for the hallway security footage. Child, the events that followed after Diddy threw the vases at Cassie is what played out in the video that is still going viral. The footage shows Cassie heading to the elevators with Diddy sprinting after her in a towel, pouncing at her. Then he proceeds to take her purse and suitcase from the floor near the elevators, and then he turns around and pounces on Cassie again as she lies there on the floor, motionless. After about four seconds, he then briefly takes Cassie by her sweatshirt and drags this poor woman toward a room before walking away. Now, in the lawsuit, Cassie said that she took a cab to her apartment, but upon Upon realizing that her running away would cause Diddy to become even more angry with her and completely stuck in his vicious cycle, she returned to the hotel with the intention of apologizing for running away from Diddy. But when she returned, hotel security staff urged her to get back into a cab and go to her apartment, suggesting that they had seen the security footage showing Diddy and her in the hallway. Honey, we get why Cassie was photographed with what appeared to be on her legs and arms days after that 2016 attack that was caught on tape. And she had to smile and take photos with Diddy literally two days later. OMG. Anyway, after the release of the disturbing surveillance footage, which corroborates some of the claims in Cassie's lawsuit, Diddy issued an apology for his behavior and took full responsibility for his actions. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I was I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. In the apology video, Diddy also went on and talked about how he was even going to therapy to deal with how messed up he was. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Truly sorry. Oh, now he's sorry. After vehemently denying all the allegations and calling Cassie a liar. I don't think Diddy remembers that in a statement he made in December last year, he wrote, For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name and family and for the the truth. Then after the raid on his houses, Diddy's lawyers once again denied any wrongdoing, saying, Yesterday there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs's residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. This unprecedented ambush, paired with an advanced, coordinated media presence, leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made by 
made in civil lawsuits. Oh, meritless, you say? The lawyer also added that Diddy was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with the authorities and that his client is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. So imagine what it looks like for Diddy to be saying that he takes full responsibility for his actions after all these statements of denial. I mean, it's definitely giving sorry he got caught. And Cassie is not here for any of it. Neither are we. First of all, after the video started making rounds, Cassie's lawyer said in a statement, the gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing behavior of Mr. Combs. Words cannot express the courage and fortitude that Ms. Ventura has shown in coming forward to bring this to light. Then after Diddy's apology video, Cassie through her lawyers also responded by saying, when Cassie and multiple other women came forward, he denied everything and suggested that they were looking for a payday, that he was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false shows his pathetic desperation and no one will be swayed by his disingenuous words. In addition, the lawyer also said that Diddy's apology is more about himself than anyone else he has ever hurt. Well, you know who else responded to Diddy's apology video? Cassie's husband, Alex Fine. He penned a lengthy letter that he shared on Instagram with the caption noting he had written it a while back, but the words ring true not just today, but every day. Alex first started by addressing his audience, noting that men who put their hands on women aren't men. Then he said, check your brothers, your friends, and your family. Our daughters, sisters, mothers, and wives should feel protected and loved. Hold the women in your life with the utmost regard. Alex then addressed people like Diddy directly, adding, you're done. You're not safe anymore. You're not protected anymore. The men by your side are just as weak. You're so miserable with yourself that death would be considered a kindness. Whoa. Let's just say that Cassie and her husband Alex don't buy the apology. 50 Cent is also out here wondering who's advising Diddy through it all cause he's just making things worse for himself. 50 wrote on X, this is not going to work. Who is advising him right now? SMH, bad move. Someone like Aubrey O'Day also took to X to slam Diddy, accusing him of only apologizing after everyone saw what he did, saying, Diddy did not apologize to Cassie. He apologized to the world for seeing what he did. He says he's disgusted with himself now and he was disgusted with himself then, but apparently he wasn't disgusted enough with himself to not pin this statement out calling her a liar and denying all of it. Leave God and mercy out of this. They aren't present here and you know it. Even Revolt, the media company from which Diddy stepped down as CEO after the lawsuits were filed, issued a statement on social media saying that they are deeply saddened and disturbed by the recent video circulating of their former chairman. Revolt noted that even with his recent separation from their company, it is still their duty to address the matter and recognize the direct impact it has on their staff, their audience, and the culture they represent. Revolt also said that they stand in solidarity with all the women and remain committed to upholding the values and integrity the community expects from them. Baby, the only problem is that Diddy will not be held accountable by the law, as the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office issued a statement regarding the video saying, we are aware of the video that has been circulating online. We find the images extremely disturbing and difficult to watch. If the conduct depicted occurred in 2016, unfortunately, we would be unable to charge as the conduct would have occurred beyond the timeline where a crime of a be prosecuted. As of today, law enforcement has not presented a case related to the attack depicted in the video against Mr. Combs. I know, it doesn't make sense that he cannot be charged, yet there's video evidence. But you know what? I'd love to know your thoughts on how this case is unfolding. Are you with Cassie when she says that she doesn't buy this fake apology? Personally, I think that since she knows that Diddy cannot be charged for some of the things, she will be dropping little nuggets and receipts of what happened here and there that could potentially help prosecute him if he ever goes to trial. I bet she is waiting for that day. But meanwhile, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below.